Alright guys, how's it going? Iron Man here. Today is the 21st. This is my 11th application review. So let's go ahead and get this started. Actually, after you see this video, whenever you see it, um, about after after this one is uploaded, I have an interesting video. Very off topic though. It has nothing to do with iPods or Apple in general, but um, it is uh, some type of giveaway. So if you want to check that out, you can go ahead and check that out after that. But um, let's go ahead and do this. The first application I want to show you guys is Alert Meteor. This is actually three or four months old. I'm not exactly sure how old it is. I wanted to show you this application. You guys, this application a long time ago, but uh, for some reason it got deleted, or I deleted it, and uh, I didn't have time to show you guys. So I found it again. I totally forgot about it, and I definitely want to share this with you guys. This is a very simple um, game. If you just wanna, if you have a little time on your hands, you go ahead and do it. I'm not a fan of the hardcore, in-depth, super long games. I like uh, simple, straightforward, and to the point. So, you know, this isn't really a game device. It's a phone. I like to play these simple, short games. But uh, I'll show you my high score in a second. Nothing is online. No local scores. It's all yours. Basically, you save the city from meteors. By tapping, it does get there. Some do drop uh, more. It's pretty much all the same, but um, there is no music. I'm making this sound like a bad game. There is no music. Uh, I wish there was a soundtrack in the background, like maybe a super fast, like high intense game sound or a song or something to get me going a little more. But this is a really great game. I love this. It's one of my go-to apps. I love playing this. A very intense, short, fast, and uh, I wish find myself trying to beat the, my. Uh, high score. I will show you guys my high score in a second, but basically this is the game. Um, I don't know if you can hear that, but that sounds like gunshots. Um, I don't know why it sounds like gunshots, and if you've noticed, well, cancel, if you notice when you start the gameplay, it gives you like a, like a shot, like the uh, animation when you blow these up, it's like a shot like a gunshot, a glass, or if you were to throw a baseball at a car or something, uh, don't ask me why. If, you know, it'd be cooler if, um, it would have an animation of the meteor exploding, and it would be cooler if they didn't have the gunshot animation when you explode them. Uh, they should have, you know, whatever a meteor sounds like when it's exploding, that would be a little bit cooler. And like I said, again, the music would be, um, pretty cool as well. But it is a free game, Alert Meteor. They do have a part two. It's one ninety nine. I would not recommend it though because it's pretty much almost the same thing. I mean you do get a few new things. If you like it then yeah, you know, go for it. But um I'm definitely fine with the first one. My highest score is I don't, I don't think this camera's gonna focus. Three hundred and fifty six. So you can beat that, take a picture of that thing and just send it to me because when I'm around there then my fingers get a little bit tired. But um there's Alert Meteor. The next one I'm going to show you guys is Hydro Tilt Light. And I will say that I'm very glad I got the light version. I didn't buy it. I'm not saying it's a bad game, but uh, some of you guys know what I'm talking about. When you buy, uh, sometimes when you buy an application, um, it becomes an application, or it's not what you expected. And um, I'm not saying it's not what I expected. It's a great game. But it's more of a game that I would come to once or twice. It wouldn't be a go-to application. The sound, um, it has a cool, uh, soundtrack. Very unique, uh, sound. It is repetitive. But, you know, that's the most games. In the light version, you do get the first three levels. You get to experience all the three features, which is you are, uh, a water droplet, uh, an ice cube, and steam. Basically, with, uh, level one. And in the loading screen, it gives you tips. Basically, on level one, um, it tells you how to play the game. Uh, it'll uh, show you what the whole map looks like, and then it'll tell you to go. <clears throat> the uh, uh, paid version is currently on sale for $2.99 from $5, so if you want to go grab it, you can. But uh, definitely not for me. The accelerometer, um, I don't know. It doesn't seem... Um, I just wish it was a little bit more sensitive. Normally, you don't want things to be that sensitive with most of these games, but I think it does when it's in its water droplet form. But when it's like this in the cube form, I think it's perfect. But um, basically, your objective is to get to the checkered point one way or another, and you can use the forms that it gives you, which is steam, uh, ice, and water, and you can continue. Like I said, these three uh, first levels 
were definitely enough for me to just test the game out and give you guys a review on it. That's all I really needed. Um, again, it'll prompt you with a few instructions and give you a little hint on how to play the game. The first three levels are pretty much the instructions. And let's say I try to go in here as water, I'm going to fall because there were holes in it. What you need to do is turn into an ice cube first and go down the chute that the water can hold. Or the chute that can hold water, excuse me. Turn into the cube, and then you can um, go into the place that you couldn't before as your water droplet. So that's kind of cool, it's very unique. Um, not the gameplay itself, because it's kind of like Super Monkey Ball, but the way that they built it and the way that they showed it is really cool. But the, um, yeah, that's Hydro Tilt, and I got, what was that? Okay, it vibrated and someone was trying to text me. But, um, that's Alert Meteor. Oh, and the next Alert Meteor and Hydro Tilt, excuse me, the next one, this is really cool. This used to be 99 cents. It's free. I don't know if it's going to stay that way, but it should. I would definitely not pay for this. But it is a countdown to the weekend. You currently have two days, six hours, 15 minutes, and 50 seconds until the weekend. And it also counts down in seconds at the bottom, and then the, basically the time is until Friday at 5 p.m., so if you're one of those people that go to school, go to high school, um, middle school, whatever you, whatever school grade you're in, it's kind of cool. Of course, everyone knows when the weekend's coming. I mean, we count that down ourselves anyway, but I do like this. It's pretty cool, and it's funny, and it's free, so you know, why not grab it? I look at it from time to time. It's pretty cool. Nothing much to review on that, but to go grab it. Um, the next one I wanted to show you guys is the Plateau. This is the paid version. It's one ninety nine and they do have a free version which gives you the first free ten levels free. First ten levels free. And um in this one you get a challenge in arcade mode. There are fifty levels in both. I'm I'm pretty sure. Um we'll go ahead and start a new game. New game. Um uh, basic oh and the soundtrack it's pretty cool. It's kind of like reminds me of a scary movie. The soundtrack is very unique. It's not, it's, I guess, it's not really in a way repetitive, but it sounds kind of cool. I like it. It never gets old for me. Basically, the object of this game is to untangle, make sure no lines are overlapping or crossing in any way, shape, or form. You use these dots to move certain lines, and if some of the dots light up white, you can click it, you get a bonus, so there are bonuses. If one lights up black and you click it, you get minus points subtracted points from your score but it starts off really easy the first 10 levels are kind of easy which is why it gives you them in the light version once you start getting up to level 20 is when it starts getting a little bit tricky I would definitely recommend this if you like um, these game, these kind of games in general just easy um, simple games that are like to time consume I do find myself uh, coming back to this application so it is one of my go to apps so I would definitely recommend getting the full version. Go ahead and try the light version. If you get addicted and you get hooked, go ahead and buy the free one just like I did. Because that is exactly what uh, I ended up doing. But um, that is the Pot 2. The very cool uh, graphics, sound, overall. And, uh, oh no, that was an email I got. But um, that's all I have for you today in my 11th uh, application review. Please go check out my website. It is actually activated right now, but it is um, processing is what they call it. Um, so uh, if you go to it right now, it's going to tell you that it's processing. It'll be up within 48 hours. So within the next day and a half or so, it'll be right back up. I uh, put some new stuff on it, so you can go check that out. And uh, follow me on Twitter. I'm getting some more people that are following and putting a lot of updates in there. I have been forgetting, but... Um, I'm back on track with that, and uh, stay tuned for my off-topic giveaway sort thing, maybe, sort of, kind of, in a way. But um, don't forget to subscribe and uh, rate my comment, rate my comment, uh, rate, and uh, you can comment as well if you can. And uh, I will catch you guys in my next video. Uh, peace out.